As with most grade books, there are a few options for entering scores within PowerTeacher Pro. Grades are entered on the score sheet. The default PowerTeacher Pro screen is the assignment list. To access the score sheet, you can either click on the class selector, and next to the class, select the score sheet icon, or you can go to grading, score sheet. You can enter scores directly in the score sheet grid by clicking in the cell, entering the score, and hitting enter or return. The student's average appears on the left. You will notice as I make changes, the average does not update in real time, but the cell is highlighted in orange, indicating changes have been made. The average will update after clicking Save. Using the score inspector on the right, you can fill in an entire column with the score very quickly. This comes in handy with smaller scores like class participation and completed task scores. Click in the cell in the assignments column, Go to the score inspector on the right and enter the score you would like to fill. I'll say mine is going to be the rest of the students receive a five. And then click the fill column. It will indicate how many scores were updated with the five. Click OK. Any student scores that were not a five can easily be changed. Or, if I would have entered those other scores before filling, only the empty cells will be filled with the 5. You can also mark score indicators, which provide teachers, parents, and students with more information about a score without changing the grade. Score indicators can be entered using the score inspector. The available score indicators are missing, collected, late, incomplete, exempt, and absent. To enter one of the score indicators, click on the cell in which you want to enter the indicator, and then click the indicator you want to enter. For instance, this might have been incomplete. The icon for the indicator will appear in your gradebook and is also visible on the student parent portal to provide more information regarding the assignment. You can also enter comments for the assignment, which will appear in the student parent portal as well. Click save once you are done. Now that you've seen how to enter scores, continue to the next video to learn about viewing grades.